This is very important. Okay, this is very, very important. This gentleman here, this gentleman, is how I remember the police. Okay? No, 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 no. I do remember them like this, I do, because I've, I've got a lot of friends still in the police force. Do you know what the funny thing is as well? In 1829, the, uh, the peelers came on the scene, yeah? <laughs> and they had a discussion about whether they were going to call themselves a police force or a police service. And they actually chose force. But then they thought about it and thought, well, that sounds like we're being a bit like the army. So they changed it to service. <laughs> and we live with a police service. And what do they do? They act as a police force. Everything is 180 degrees the opposite of whatever you see. Believe me, it's 180 degrees. Everything. You look at any of their statutes, any of their statutes, what they say they're going to do is the complete opposite of what exactly happens. Seriously, you've just got to look. You've just got to look with different eyes. This gentleman on my left, I nearly said right, because last time I was over there. <laughs> <laughs> this gentleman on my left is how I, I, I've modelled this, not actually, but I've modelled this on a dear friend of mine called Mick. And Mick, when I was a youngster, I was a pain in the arse. To, the, to these boys, I was a pain in the arse. I was always up to mischief, I was always getting in trouble. But... Mick showed me what a, 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 a policeman was all about because I wasn't disturbed. Actually, I'll tell you that. Some of the lady told me the other night I was very disturbed. I needed psychiatric treatment. <laughs> <laughs> she did. Yeah, she did. Poor thing. Because <laughs> generally you reverse it and it actually means she needs psychiatric treatment. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to tell her that though. I'd upset her enough. But this gentleman on my, my left, when I, was, when I was growing up, when I was in a lot of bother with the old bill, I, I saw people who naturally were compassionate, they cared, they generally cared. And uh, Mick could have nicked me so many times for stupid things that I'd done. And when he did nick me, I held my hands up. That's one thing I always did. If I'd done something wrong, I held my hands up and said, yeah, fair cop, you got me. You know, the, the Stevens Police Station was basically a hotel for me when I was a kid. You'll probably name it after me one day. Um, but Mick was showed me, and I understood what a policeman was about. Since getting into this, I see this on my right-hand side. This is what I see. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what he needs, yeah, right there. <laughs> Get some of that. Shut down in a second. <laughs> but this gentleman on my, my right is basically, it's this man's persona. Okay. Because he's a corporate employee who's a revenue collector and he enforces statutes. That's how they collect their revenue. Did we all see about the ACPA that just recently <coughs> come out? Did you see that? Well, the ACPA turns out it's a company that's headed up by chief, inspect uh, sorry, chief constables that are telling the police what to do. But they're non-profit making, but they've got £18 million pound in the bank. Now, if you can work that one out, you're better than me, because I can't work that out, because if you're non-profit making, how the hell do you get £18 million? But well, there you go. But this is what's basically happening. But these are, they, this is because they work for a corporation. Now, what we've got is the boys in blue, who a, fr a few friends of mine in here have had a running with, just recently as well. The boys in blue, this man on my left, have forgotten... Sorry, this man on my right have forgotten this is what their real job is. Their job is, under the common law of this land, is to never, ever deny or delay right of justice to any individual in this land. It doesn't matter where you're from, it doesn't matter what you're doing here. They cannot deny right or justice. They cannot do it. And they're there to uphold the law, not enforce the law. Okay? With common law, there comes something called dis uh, discretion. And discretion is what a jury uses. That's why a jury is so important in a court of law. Because they can know the case if they believe the law to be unjust. They can even, they can go against the law if they believe, uh, uh, sorry, they believe the law to be unjust. And the jury can't be swayed. But what happened in the Demenzies trial recently? What happened? Absolutely. Well, that's not possible. Not in a proper court of law. So what we basically suffer under are corporate courts and these boys 
are forcing statutes on you to make sure you turn up in the corporate court. Now this, this man on my left, this man on my right, sorry, doesn't know about this man on my left. I'm not being told this anymore. And I have this from ex -police, uh, an ex-policeman recently, Albert Burgess, has been telling me. And he says what they're being trained as, this man here, they don't know about him, but they know about him. That's all they know. They don't know anything else. So when you contest this man and you say to him, am I obliged to answer your questions? What they actually say to you now, which is quite funny, because Richard, one of the admin off of TPUC, asked one of these gentlemen a couple of questions, and he got arrested for obstructing a police officer in his duty for asking questions. <laughs> <laughs> he sits there, and he'll tell you all about it. Didn't you, Richard? No, 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 because no, I know, no, 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 don't jump the gun. So basically, that's what we've got. I want to show you a little video. I want you to watch this. Down for Can I help space. you? What? Can I help you? Put the camera down for us. What? Ooh, 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 I'm in my own garden here, mate. Okay. Well, Is you come bursting down. Filming the it's not an offence at all. Is, no, it's not an offence at all. No, I'm a filmmaker, mate. I know the laws. I've been doing this for years, mate. I film the police all the time. It's not an offence. Okay. We're telling what, you. What, what section is it an offence under? It's an offence. What section is it an offence under? I'll find that for you. Can you switch the camera off? No, I can't switch my camera off. I'm not doing nothing wrong. I'm in my own garden. You've come round our path. I do this all the time, mate. Yeah, the Get the mobile phone, Mr. Lister. Mate, this is a free country. You're titled by law, yeah? Sarge, just quickly, um, we've just done a subject on the Welsh Arts There's a gentleman here that's um, filming us. Yeah, he's in his own garden. What's basically happening, if you can't hear this, what's basically happening, these two officers have walked up the garden path and said it's a criminal offence for you to film me. Darren's turned around, Darren, a friend of ours, and said, no, it's not. They're saying, yes, it is. So what, so what they're doing is, they're on the radio now to the sergeant trying to confirm that it's an offence. Because <laughs> they don't know the law. Have I got hold of this? Yeah. What's this for the cobwebs? <laughs> <laughs> I think you've got it wrong, Roy. And, and what I, you know what you ought to do, mate? What, you, know, you know what you ought to do? What he's actually saying is, do you know what you want to do, mate? He says you want to go and petition the MPs to get the law changed, which is what's happened. <laughs> <laughs> Some you win, some you lose. Nothing wrong at all. Oh, bless you. Yeah, absolutely. What, if you, when you hear this properly, you can watch it on our website. It's, this is, believe it, it's just gone around the internet like a virus, a good virus. What it basically is, is, the sergeant comes back and actually says it's not an offence. <laughs> And he, they actually, you can hear it, and his camera picks up that they just said it. This um, lady officer, I should call her, tries to pick a fight, and you can't, you need to hear it to understand it, but she basically then, because they failed, and she then tries to pick a fight. They're asking for his name, they're asking for his dress. Darren didn't know what he was doing at the time, because he didn't understand very much, but... It's inherent what goes on. You know what's right or wrong. You don't need to be told it. It's already inherent in you. You know if you do something right or wrong. And Darren knew what they were doing was wrong. 
So he decided to stand his ground. As you see, they're having a bit of a discussion about it, as they do. It's what he does. He does it all the time. <laughs> he goes to... No, no off I go. Right, no. all, right. What he does is he just films these because they film him. What he says is, the cameras are constantly filming him, so he, he does exactly the same. What's wrong with that? If they've got something to hide, which obviously they have, now recently, as you've just pointed out, which is very true, they've just changed the statute to say that you can't film them anymore. Okay? So what about Sky Television? What about all the channels that show police this, police that, you know, chasing these poor people down, and basically kicking the hell out of them, pepper spraying them, and all the different bits and pieces. What are they going to do? They're going to start finding all these companies. They're going to start to pull all this crap off the television so it's not forced down our throats. Every single police force in this land is a corporation. <coughs> and this one might ring a few bells because it's the City of London Police. Below it, North London Police Authority, Gwent Constabulary, trading as Gwent Police Authority. They're all corporations, every single one of them. And they use a language against you that's called legalese. Does anybody know what legalese is? It does, absolutely, yeah. Any, you, tomorrow, you can go out and start a society. Anybody can do it. And there's millions of them. And you can give that society its own language. That's up to you. No matter what language you use, you're allowed to, you, can, you can basically do it. Legalese is such a language. It's English, but the words have very different meanings. Very different meanings. But you just don't know what the meanings are. And legalese is the language of the law society, the advocates. In legalese, must is synonymous with may. So if a corporation says to you, you must do something, they're actually saying you may. Because they have to give you a choice. Summons is synonymous with invitation. What you heard me say earlier, I was invited. Because when you get invited to a court of law, remember it's a corporate court of law, and it is a corporate court of law, you're being invited to a place of business to discuss how much money you're going to give them. That's what you're actually being done. That's what's happening, but you just don't know it's going on. You believe it's the law of the land and I must turn up at court, but you don't have to, because you're actually being invited somewhere. How do you turn down the invitation? <laughs> <laughs> I'll get on to that. <laughs> there is a way, I've just done it. <laughs> and it's funny as well. Understand is synonymous with stand under. So if someone says to you, do you understand, and you say yes, basically in their world you've agreed that they've got authority over you. That means that you stand under that person. And it's all about the person. The Law Society, another company. Doesn't matter where you look, go and check, I'll tell you what they do, check your local fire service, your local hospitals, check everything in your local area and you will find it is either a company or a trading name of another company. My local school, my son's school is a trading name of the local county council. Fire Brigade, trading. Ambulance, trading. I can show you, I, you know, we've got all this, I won't because it'll just take too long, but there's, it doesn't matter what you look for and it's in any country. A lady came to me recently about a problem, she came up to the house and we searched a school in Canada that she used to go to, and it's a company. I searched New York City Council today, it's a council, uh, it's a company. They're all, everything, the whole world, they're all companies. But the Law Society, again, is another company. The Ministry of Justice trade as all the magistrates' courts, they actually, that's their trading name. So when you go to a magistrate's court, you're actually walking into a corporate place of business that is a trading name of the Ministry of Justice. What we did is we decided to buy the report on the Ministry of Justice, just to see what it says. <laughs> and this is interesting. What you see at the top here is obviously the Ministry of Justice. They trade as the Asylum Immigration Tribunal, the Magistrate's Courts and the Public Trustee Office. That's their trading names. It says here, year of business started, 1600. 
I can't work that out. I just told that to a barrister. I just told this. All this information I've sent to a lawyer who sent it to a barrister. And they turned around and said, well, if that piece of paper is true, which it is, according to where I got it from, it exists, we got it, we paid for it, he says this country has been lawless for 409 years. 